this is the part of the worship service where I call you all, all my children, and you come to me. Ben and Owen and Zeke and Tristan and Charlotte and Emily and Evelyn and Gaius and Arya. Who else? John and Adia and Anna and Eden and Griffin and Baron and Neil and Gregory and John and Nathan, little Nathan and big Nathan and Tanner and Ollie and Maggie, all of you. You come and we sit in a circle, but you can't come. So instead, I have to come to you. So I thought I'd come to a place where you've been before. But, I want to come the right way. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, it's a fucking Bronco! He doesn't turn very easy. I like this. Why didn't I think of this before? Why don't I do this every Sunday? This is kind of cool. You guys go ahead, I'm just going to play over here. <laughs> This is sort of silly, isn't it? Well, you know why I'm being silly? Because it's Palm Sunday, and Jesus rode a donkey, and, well, this little guy's the closest thing we have to a donkey. You know, the funny thing is, Jesus probably looked silly riding the donkey, too, just like me. The thing is, in Jesus' day, they didn't have horses. Horses weren't pets or farm animals. Horses were only animals that belonged to kings. They're the only people who had horses. Kings had horses because a horse was a war animal. They used it for war. It would pull chariots, or it would have people on them with swords that would hurt people. So a king would come into the city riding a horse. Was a big strong horse and the king would have all his armor on and all his fine feathers and plumage so that he looked like a peacock and right behind him were all the army people and they had horses and chariots and they had all their spears and swords and shields and bows and arrows and rocket launchers no wait they didn't have rocket launchers well the king rode that horse so that he did not look silly so that he looked big and tough and everybody knew that you shouldn't mess with the king. On the other side of town, Jesus rode in on a donkey, kind of because he wanted to look silly. Not that he wanted people to laugh at him, but he wanted people to notice he's a real different kind of king. He's not like a king that makes people do stuff or else they chop off their heads. He was the kind of king that makes you want to do stuff because he loves you so much. Jesus is the kind of king who doesn't make us do anything. He actually helps us do stuff. Like a donkey that just carries our load for us, helps us get around. The way Jesus is a king is not with swords and power. He's a king with love, and it turns out that love is more powerful than everything. And Jesus was willing to love us even when he got hurt, even when people beat him up and killed him. He still wanted to love us, even though it made him look kind of stupid and they thought he was silly. But he didn't care, because he loved us. I am so glad that God loves us so much, that God is willing to look silly and even get hurt so that God never, ever goes away from us. I am so glad God loves us that much. I think we should say a prayer and say thank you to God for the love that Jesus shows us that comes from God. So we'll pretend like we're all holding hands in our big circle <clears throat> and I'm going to pray, and I want you to all pray with me. God, thank you for loving us so much. Let's pray. God, thank you for loving us so much. Amen.